Let's go back and look at our inventory file. In our Etsy Ansible subdirectory, we have the host file, which is two labels and three IP addresses. And it gives us the ability to target each server or the web servers or the HA proxy server. So when we do an Ansible all ping, we get three servers back as expected. If we change that to web, we'll get two. And if we change it to HA proxy servers, get one returned. I'm going to tuck that away. And copy in a version I did earlier to prepare for this. Okay. So We can include or not include the dash, dash, dash in this case for indicating it's a YAML file. Uh, Ansible is going to read whatever file is in your Etsy hosts, sorry, Etsy Ansible host directory. Uh, and if you can't parse the format, either as YAML or text, then you'll get an error. Uh, you can also redirect any Ansible command to a different host file, so you don't have to use the default. Um, with a dash i extension. Okay, so everything in this file is a label. You see there's no equals or dashes, there's only indents and colons. So even though when we get down here to the names of our servers, which I put into uh, my local Etsy host file so we can emulate DNS, we can use uh, server names instead of IP addresses. So even though this feels like a value, possibly it does to me, uh, it's going to, it's a label because all we're doing here is making a list. You can get uh, more intricate. You can put variables in here. Uh, there's some logic you can put in here and that's all documented on Ansible's website. Uh, but this is the equivalent to our flat file. We're saying all hosts. Oh, and this time I've included this control node. So it's part of the inventory. All hosts includes the children of web servers and HA proxy servers. Web servers, are, servers also have hosts. HA proxy servers also has hosts. So we get the concept of inheritance rather than flat labels. Let's run this. with Ansible all ping again. She get four servers back. Great. Ansible all, no, web servers. Great. Let's try a different one, Ansible. Um, control. Local domain. I will ping it to. So calling not by a group, but by an actual server. Oops, spell domain correctly. And let's try an Ansible HA proxy servers shell. We'll try a system control HA proxy 
status HA proxy. See if our main software is installed. Okay, it's disabled and disactive or deactivated. So let's start it. And check out the status again. Okay, it's up and running. Fantastic. Now I can add more to my hierarchy. So for example, if I wanted to say children or web servers of these hosts, which also had children, um, of backup web servers, let's call it. I'm just going to put in a A server in there by IP address this time. So backup web servers would be a part of web servers, but could be called separately. Let's see if this works. We should get four back, or three back this time. And now if we just do backup web servers, we should only get the one back. All right, try another one. Uh, I won't embed this one. I'll just add it as a new line of Raleigh Durham. Introduce the idea of location has hosts and we'll give it web one dot local domain. Ah, you know what? This shouldn't have worked. Well, it did work because it was at the end of the line, but I needed my colon there. And HA proxy local domain. And we'll say San Jose with hosts. Web server two. Okay. Let's try just our same one again, make sure backup web service is still available. Okay, now let's try San Jose. And Raleigh Durham. Oops. Real Ollie. Okay, as expected. Fantastic. So last thing I wanna do is go ahead and use our new host file to deploy a playbook. So as you recall, we downloaded a playbook from Ansible Galaxy and we ran it in order to install HA proxy and keep alive D. But the, the uh, variables for 
HA proxy uh, were, didn't make any sense for our environment. So I've updated the variables main.yaml file, which we called when we run the playbook, to include web one and web two. And it's listening on port 80 to our virtual IP and we'll redirect to webs one and web two for a rudimentary load balancer. So uh, we don't have anything really running right there. We're just gonna test if our playbook will run and uh, without errors. So I'm gonna run Ansible playbook site.yaml. Site.yaml has been updated to only look for the HA proxy servers. All right. So we see our familiar inter interface giving us some feedback. Okay. Checking if keep live D is installed, it is. Made changes to the um, made changes to our oh. Huh. Yes, yeah, sorry. It made changes to keep live D starting it up, but it did not make a change to um, HA proxy um, because I had already run this. So let me change that really quickly. Okay. All right, all I did was uh, put the original HA proxy config file back that has the original variables, not the changed ones that we want. So let's run it once more time, one more time. Okay, so this time we see changes with HA proxy. And in fact, if we run our shell command again, should get that it's up and running. And then if we more Etsy, HA proxy, um, HA proxy dot CFG. Okay, we see that we have a round robin default balance on local admin. Front end is listening to anything coming into port 80 and redirecting to 80, 80 in a round robin fashion. Okay, so that was successful. So you saw some more granularity in the concept of inheritance in the host file and then we use that new host file to deploy a change.